Now Heber, the Kenite, had left the other Kenites, the descendants of Hobab, Moses' brother-in-law, and pitched his tent by the great tree in Zeananim, near Kedish. When they told Sisera that Barak, son of Abinoam, had gone up to Mount Tabor, Sisera gathered together his 900 iron chariots and all the men with him, from Harosheth Hagoyim to the Kaishan River. Then Deborah said to Barak, Go! This is the day the Lord has given Sisera into your hands. Has not the Lord gone ahead of you? So Barak went down Mount Deba, followed by 10,000 men. At Barak's advance, the Lord routed Sisera and all his chariots and army by the sword, and Sisera abandoned his chariot and fled on foot. But Barak pursued the chariots and army as far as Harosheth Hagoyim. All the troops of Sisera fell by the sword. Not a man was left. Sisera, however, fled on foot to the tent of Jael, the wife of Heba the Kenite. Because there were friendly relations between Jabin, king of Hazor, and the clan of Heba the Kenite, Jael went out to meet Sisera and said to him, Come, my lord, come right in. Don't be afraid. So he entered her tent, and she put a covering over him. I am thirsty. Please give me some water. She opened a skin of milk, gave him a drink, and covered him up. Stand in the doorway of the tent. If someone comes by and asks you, is anyone here, say no. But Jael, Heba's wife, picked up a tent peg and a hammer and went quietly to him while he lay fast asleep, exhausted. She drove the peg through his temple into the ground, and he died. Barak came by in pursuit of Sisera, and Jael went out to meet him. Come, I will show you the man you are looking for. So he went in with her, and there lay Sisera, with the tent peg through his temple, dead. On that day God subdued Jabin, the Canaanite king, before the Israelites. And the hand of the Israelites grew stronger and stronger against Jabin, the Canaanite king, until they destroyed him.